My name is Cameron, and I'm going to be going to space. And I suppose this is my story. This is soda, by the way. I don't I don't drink coffee. <laughs> If you guys don't mind, I'm gonna do this video as myself. It's a little bit more personal. I am very lucky that I have a, you know, a father, I have parents that are accepting of who I am. Growing up, I didn't have much of a father figure in my life. My father was... Okay, uh, this all feels really weird to me still, because I feel like I've been given a huge opportunity to, like, advocate for so many of the things that I care about and to reach out and inspire people, and I don't want to f*** it up. Um, so I guess I should start with a disclaimer. Yes, I'm pansexual. But my story does not represent the entirety of the LGBTQ plus community. And yes, I am a furry, but no, not all furries are like me. I wanted to get that off my chest because I'm going to be talking a lot about these communities that I care about and want to bring attention to. I just want to make sure that people understand that lots of furries and queer individuals lead very drastically different lives uh, than me, and uh, they might not have had the same privileges as me. I am just one person with fairly limited experience in my life, and you know, the world is a diverse um, place, and so are the communities that I'm talking about. Uh, so again, don't make judgment on those who are involved in any groups I take part in based off of my experience. Most people today don't necessarily want to live within the framework or path that most people have defined. They want to enjoy and define themselves in a way that they're free. I hope that some people will look at what- Oh, isn't that nice to see? I'm going to take a guess here and say there are probably a fair amount of you who don't feel like you're accepted for who you are. You know, just because you're uniquely you. You may not feel like you have a place to shine because you feel like the world won't accept you. You see, I can't fix that by going to space. But I do think there is value in my adventure. I hope those of you who are afraid of who you are, maybe that's because you're queer or you're part of the furry community, which is wildly misunderstood. I hope that you feel at least slightly more validated. I hope that you can feel more confident knowing that one of your people was in space. And not only that, but with their parent. Their parent who is accepting of their weirdness. I don't, can't, and won't represent all of you, but I hope you can point at my mission and feel a little cooler about yourself.
right, this is important. This is um, from the Blue Origin people. I don't really know what it is going to be. I believe it's a, a bag that I can put stuff in for inside this package, it's a personal payload bag that you may use to bring a small number of personal items to be flown inside the new Shepard crew capsule during your flight. And, and I know, I know what's going to go in this bag at this point. So let's take a look. We got, okay, first, first, this one is probably the most important to me. Um, I'm going to be taking this purple uh, hand paw for, from my friend. Um, you know, I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and my hand flag. Let's just hold that up. Get it. Still here, this is. Um, oh, this. I want to talk more about this. An unopened vinyl copy of. Musician. It's a vinyl. Uh, Musician by Porter Robinson. Did you just hear a Porter Robinson alert sound? Yeah. I have like a, a weird obsession with Porter Robinson. Well, I, I mean, I, here, look, let me, I'll, I'll explain, I'll explain. I mean, I don't really know what to say about it without going into like a deep analysis of his music, which I could do, but I'm not, but... Um, I just have to say that, like, in my life, um, you know, Worlds, the album was created as kind of like an escapist fantasy kind of deal, um, and that came to me at a time that I needed that a lot, and now his, his new album, Nurture, it's a similar kind of coming to me at a moment where, uh, you know, I needed the most where I was trying to decide the direction of my life and what I really wanted to do. And um, it's just stuff that he talks about constantly in his music. And, it, and you know, he just, it feels like a lot of stuff that he uh, sings about, I can relate to a lot. And it makes me feel in ways that, you know, are deeply uh, personal to me. And it's, it's just powerful when, you know, people can touch you in that way. Okay, I know at this point this video is all over the place, but it's just, uh, you know, my entire life I've wanted to make people who felt like they didn't have a place feel welcome. You know, I feel like that's my calling. I want to bring my art, enthusiasm, and personality to the table to help people escape, just, just like Porter Robinson's worlds, or, you know, feel special or cool. You know, I've worked on games, I've done streams, I make videos, and, you know, so much more. And I hope to continue to express myself with my brand of genuine goofiness, and I hope to continue to entertain for a long time to come. This adventure feels like the cathartic release of Musician where I, you know, finally feel like I'm being unabashedly me and, and on a stage that's literally out of this world. And that is special.